Okay, so this is my YouTube video for um, people who are considering getting PVT uh, done. It's a process you have done at the dermatologist. Um, I forget what it stands for, but if you're watching this video, you probably know what it stands for. But I'm just going to tell you how it went and what to expect. So, um, basically, I'm on day two. And... Um, this is how it went down. Went to the dermatologist. You go there. You wash your face. They put get this white pen thing with the chemical in it, and they rub that all over your face. Yada yada yada. You lay there for an hour, which I didn't expect, but uh, yeah. So I laid there for an hour with the chemical on my face, and then um, after the hour's up, you wash the chemical off your face, and then you um, they put you under a light. For 15 minutes, and it was just like a hot light on my face. I didn't have any discomfort or any pain. Um, they put these little things over your eyes, so you just sit there and relax. And then when that 15 minutes is up, you she what did she do? Oh, she washed my face, and she put some moisturizer and some sunscreen. Now, what's important to know, as I was told, is that. The chemicals activated by light, and all you need is 15 minutes of light for it to do what it's supposed to do. So staying in the light longer or whatever does not give you any different results. So they tell you when you leave, well, you're pink after. It's nothing. It's just like a sunburn. You leave. And they tell you to stay out of the sun because the sun will activate the chemical more and it will make your, your results worse, meaning it will blister more, blah, 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 depending on if you stay in light longer. So basically, you have to go home, shut the curtains, and sit in your house for in darkness for two days, um, which is what I've done. <laughs> so this is day two. Um, I got home, and I was like, oh, it's no big deal, blah, blah, blah. I think I'm going to go to work tomorrow. So I was thinking, this is just a little pink, nothing. And then I laid down, and I woke up within an hour. I was like all blistered. It was like, you know, it would have been a great Halloween mask. Had it the next weekend. But um, so yeah, my face was all blistered and gross, but it didn't hurt. It was just like tight and felt like a bad sunburn if you ever ever had one. Um, I have, which is probably why I uh, have bad skin now. Why I'm having to have this done. Oh, because I had a precancerous growth on my nose. Anyways, which is this PDT is a uh, like a preventative also. Anyway, so, yeah, so, I uh, first day blisters, big, not pretty, really kind of creepy, but again, nothing, no big deal, no pain, no discomfort, just looked bad, and um, today, the I woke up, my face was very, very red, like red, like a lobster, and, um, but the blisters have dried up, and my skin is like leather now. <laughs> So I guess what's going to happen now is the, I guess that my skin is going to start to, uh, you know, fall off flake. <laughs> and that's when it reveals nice fresh skin. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, although today, in the middle of the afternoon, I get an awful headache and I was dizzy. I have no idea if it has anything to do with this, but... I would imagine that it does because this is like, it's quite harsh. I mean, it's like, it's like sunstroke. It feels like that's exactly what it felt like. It felt like sunstroke or something. But I laid down and I was fine. There's nobody that's too, too excited. So that's it, basically. Um, I'll post tomorrow to see if anything has changed. I hope that it has. But so it's day two. I'm very red. My face is like leather now. And hopefully it'll just flake now, and I will uh, my skin will go back to well look better than it was. But anyways, All right, that's it. We'll post something tomorrow. Signing out. Say hi, Millie. Okay, bye.